I believe Jesus is the best of the best. He's the greatest of the great. And one thing that sets him apart is he is the great commander in chief. What I mean by that is he has issued a, a marching order to his people called the Great Commission. It's found in all four Gospels and the book of Acts. The only command given in all four Gospels and also given in the book of Acts. Well, it's called the Great Commission. It's found in Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, John 20, Acts 1 8. In Matthew 28, it says these words, verse 18. Then Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. So he has the authority to issue an order. And he says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. That's the Great Commission. And I want to explain to you the fact that this Great Commission is not the Great Suggestion. It's not, he's not saying, well, if you get around to it, if you're one of the special people, I suggest that you think about maybe doing this. No, it's a commission. It's an order. It's something that we have to keep. A commission, the, the reason theologians use that term is it's an order from the commander-in-chief to a soldier that has to be obeyed. If the soldier disobeys this order, they will be court-martialed for treason. I wonder how many people who call themselves Christians could be court-martialed from the, the army of God because they're not obeying the order to make disciples. We are called to make disciples. It's not the great suggestion, it's the great commission. And it's God's will for everybody's life. People are like, well, what's God's will for my life? Well, the one way, one thing we know is God's will is this command given in all four gospels and the book of Acts to make disciples. It will look different for different people. It'll look different at different times in your life. But we're all, no matter what we're doing for a job, we all are to spend our, our efforts and energy making disciples. Let me ask you, are you making disciples? Are you living God's will for your life? Or are you living something less than that? It also is disciple making, not just decision making. It's not just twisting somebody's arm so they pray a prayer with you. It is making disciples. It's teaching them to obey everything Jesus commanded. It's teaching them how to live out the Gospels, how to live out the truth of Scripture in their lives, and how to make other disciples. The Great Commission is fulfilled by us going. You've got to be intentional. You've got to leave your comfort zone. I'm a shy person by nature. I have to push myself to get out of my comfort zone, to build bridges and relationships with people. You have to proclaim the good news. Mark 16 says, uh, go there, go and preach, proclaim the gospel to every creature. You got to tell people the facts. God, sin, Jesus, crucifixion, resurrection, faith in Jesus bring salvation. You got to tell them the facts. Help them get baptized. Help them make a public statement of their faith in Jesus. And train them to obey. Spend time with them. Teach them how to do things like read the Bible, pray, how to share their testimony, how to share the gospel with other people. The Great Commission results in church planning. So what do you mean by that? Well, when the first disciples heard the Great Commission, what did they do? They went and prayed for a week for the coming of the Holy Spirit, and then they planted a church. It's a result of fulfilling the Great Commission. Some of, some of you listening to me right now, your next step is to start gathering people, teaching them the Word of God, and creating a church in your apartment, in your house, in your home, in a place that you rent. It, it, it leads... 
it moves you as you reach people. They have to be in a church to really be baptized and learning to obey. So you end up starting one or being part of a group of people that are starting one. The Great Commission contains the great promise. You want to experience the presence of Jesus? He said, I am with you when you are making disciples. It's a promise. You say, well, I, what's that look like? Well, it looks like this. And then you know what I'm talking about, some of you. When you are making disciples, the words coming out of your mouth are better than what you think you have in your head. God, the Holy Spirit is with you in a way that, that uses it to make sense to the person you're talking to. The last part is, it, sh it should not the great suggestion, the great commission should be our great obsession. We should live to make disciples. We should live to fulfill this commission and to obey our commander in chief. Are you obeying the great commission? Jesus is the greatest. Make followers of him.